Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, we just finished up our local business and entrepreneur series, and so thought I'd come on today and bring my favorite loan officer and financial expert, Jenny Miller, to give us a market update. Hi, Jenny. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be back. Thanks for coming on and joining me. Um, yeah, we were we were chatting the other day, and we're like, you know, it's been a little while since we've come on and just kind of done like a little like mini state of the union, like where are things at? Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's lots of talk, you know, and speculation as to what's happening in the market. And wherever I go, pickleball or sometimes when I'm guest teaching, you know, people are like, what's going on? You know, what's going on in the market? And, um, you know, it's, um, well, let's, let's chat about that a little bit. I know one thing that is big that everybody always wants to talk about are the rates. What's the rates? Where are the rates at? And everybody seems to think, that that is the single factor in what dictates, you know, what the market is like or how strong or weak the market is, is, sure. is the rate. Um, so I don't know. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you have to say on that? <laughs> All right. Well, um, I have good news. Now yeah. the good news is we're not back in October of 2023 because yeah. that literally is someone like took the needle off the record player. Yeah, Everything that's stopped. Really, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, whoa. Yeah. Right. When we were in the eight. Yeah. And that's just been like unprecedented. Yeah. Right? Well, not unprecedented, but just in recent times, yeah. because my first condo that I bought after mm-hmm. college. Yeah. I had over eight percent interest rate. So. Well, we are going back in time for sure. But <laughs> just you know, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, not last, to date myself. The but. <laughs> last decade, you know, that definitely yeah. was unheard yeah. of. So, of Absolutely. course, that just literally put everything dead in its tracks. Yeah. Right. Yep. Now, thankfully, as we neared December. We saw rates trend down a little bit from there. And, of course, the activity picked up. Yeah. And, you know, if I had a crystal ball, I'd be a rich woman. Yeah. I listened to, you know, all kinds of experts and everybody's forecasts. And, again, their forecasts, right? Right. Everyone's most educated guests. Educated guests based on the information that they have in the present. Exactly. So So, um, this past Friday, which was the 16th of February, um, the latest government reports that came out, inflation was a little hotter than anticipated, and they had the effect of rates coming up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we talk about rates. They are what they are, right? Right, yeah. And, of course, they have a bearing on people's payment and long-term, how much interest you pay. But let's put it into um, dollars. Yeah. All right? Um, On a $240,000 loan amount, Mm -hmm. right? Not sales price, $240,000 loan amount. Loan, which means it's it's a higher purchase price. Yep. That's just the loan amount. Yep. So a half a percent difference in interest rate Mm -hmm. is about $70 a month. Okay. Okay. So that's fairly significant, right? That's a a bill. It's, you know, maybe a dinner out. Right. Um, And over time, of course, it adds up. But we're still, here's, I feel like a broken record. Yeah. Supply and demand. Yep. That's where we're, we're back to supply and demand. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, Spring markets always tend to heat up, right? A lot of Mm -hmm. people like to get ready, start to move toward the summer. This is also the time of year, too, where people get their tax refunds. And if they, um, you know, pulled themselves back off the market, they're thinking about reentering the market, right? Yeah. So if you're waiting for rates to come down, let's say because you you feel like, hey, if they go down 70 bucks a month, I want to save. Well, you're not the only one waiting for the rates to come down, right? Right. So suddenly the competition heats up. Yep. More competition for the limited inventory causes bidding over asking. Right. 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 So $5,000, if you bid over ask $5,000 and we're assuming it, you know, you have to pay that in cash, right? right. Not that it's going to be buried in the appraisal. Right. But at 70 bucks a month to recoup that $5,000, it's 5.95 years Wow. to recoup that $5,000. Yeah. So you know, like with every person, every family, right? Home ownership means something different to them, right? Yeah. Whether it's a dream, it's financial security, um, it's very important. And I'm definitely not discounting saving money is not what everybody would like to do. Right. But every person's agenda and goals are going to be a little bit different, right. right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's meeting with um, a loan officer, even talking to your financial planner, um, and getting an idea of what you could buy. With your tax refund, maybe you're thinking down payment. Well, maybe 
maybe that money would be a better vehicle for paying down revolving debt, for example. Right. So um, regardless of where the market is, because the rates are going to go up, they're going to come down. It's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Right. But we've got to translate rate into dollars, yeah. which translates into a house payment, which translates into a sales <laughs> price. And that's how we can help you. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's always the consumer, you know, it's their decision. Yep. And especially like consulting um, and with, a, with a realtor, right? Yep. Um, there isn't a cost to do it. Right. There's multiple programs. There's grants out there for first-time home buyers. Yep. Um, VA loans have a ton of benefits. And, and it, that's what we're here for, to help you figure out exactly. what your options are. And like you said, and I have clients that... Um, that we actually closed on, you know, they purchased their new home and we sold their home back in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, and but initially they had been waiting. We had been working together for some time and, you know, thinking, oh, we're just going to, you know, we'll just save more. We'll just save more. But but what continues to happen is, you know, we, we have been in this this place of you know, low inventory for, for quite some time now, years. Yep. And so values just continue to go up. Um, and so you can't, you know, you've mentioned this many times, even on, on this podcast is you can't save above what everything is appreciating. Yep. You know, you can't save faster than that. Most people cannot do that. Sure. So the longer that you wait thinking, oh, I'll just wait for rates to come down or there were a lot of people for a while that thought, oh, the housing market is going to crash. It's like, but there's nothing to support that. You know, there, there's, there's nothing to support. There's you know, values crashing. So, um, you know, which as those of us in the profession knew there's no crash coming. So, right. and so here we are. So yeah, it, it ultimately, you know, they made the choice to, okay, we're going to move forward because for what they wanted and needed for their life, making that move meant making life easier, right? Because mm -hmm. they're in district where their kids go to school and have access to busing instead of having to drive and, you know, making it shorter commutes sure. and, more time and so so yeah so it does it comes down to you know the rates are going to fluctuate they always will um and while you need to have that peace and understand how it works with your financial situation yeah you can't let that dictate what your you know what your plans are like don't put your life on pause you know saying well i'm just gonna wait and you know till the rates do something different because like you just said like we can only make decisions based on right now and the information that we have now. It's yep. only a guess. None of us has a crystal ball. So we don't, you know, while we can take in all the good information, nobody knows exactly what's going to be happening six months, a year from now. So Exactly. And that's yep. um, another tool that we offer too. It's yeah. um, called the cost of waiting report. Yeah. Historically, again, there yeah. has been and there is a cost of waiting yep but again what does that translate to a you know a potential homeowner yeah dollars sales price etc yep. i'm here to help i know you're yeah. here to help yep. and um you know it's it doesn't cost anything their only job for <laughs> for a potential buyer is to provide the information right and yeah. let me disseminate it for you and that yeah. way you can make an education educated decision based on the facts in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. And I know we're we're always on the same page with that. Is you know, we want um our clients and even those that don't become clients, those that we're just providing information to, we want you to be able to make the best decision for you. Um, absolutely. It's it's really neither here nor there for us whether we would love to move forward and work with you, but it's not um you know, that's not the underlying goal. It's to right. make sure it's that you're doing what feels best for you. And I have, well, by the time we, we air this, because we recorded it a little bit in advance, um, a week, week in advance, but um, I have a new listing that'll be coming up. Well, it'll it probably will already be under contract by the time this airs. And, um, you know, one of the things that I, I let my clients know is, you know, even before we had this kind of big deficit in supply and demand, like this mm -hmm. deficit in listings. Um, historically, throughout my career and even beyond, I have always seen this time of year, this like February, March timeframe to be the most fruitful for sellers. Um, just because there is not, there's historically not as much inventory this time of year because, yeah. you know, when the snow's on the ground and it's cold outside, there's not a lot of people that are like, ooh, you know, like, let me go house hunting. So the people who are out looking this time of year they are the serious buyers so you might not have as many viewings but the viewings that you have are with the serious buyers 
Um, so, you know, th- that's another thing too, is like not having, you know, not waiting, right? If, especially right. if you're a seller and you're considering making a move, you know, don't wait and think, oh, spring is going to be better because there's also going to, there will be, I mean, not that we have a plethora of inventory, but there will be more inventory during that time yep. than what we have right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, there will for sure be more inventory at that point in time. And you can always negotiate occupancy and things like that, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah. So people yeah. have way more options, I think, that, that they're aware of. Yeah. And the only way to understand what those are are to, you know, give myself or Tracy a call, yeah. right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're always here and happy to help. And um, yeah, but but I think the I mean the underlying message here is, you know, you, you have to make decisions based on the information that we have now. Exactly. Um, and educate yourself. Yep. Be informed. And yeah. the decision is yours. And yeah. there isn't any pressure. Again, we want you to make the best decision for yourself or your family. Yeah. But don't guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah, don't and and you also can't take you know like there's a lot of different people on Instagram and YouTube and like oh, yeah. and, and they'll give you all kinds of different information and like oh here's what I think's gonna happen or here's where the rates are but you know everything is very specific right to a market yep you know so you want to make sure that the information that you're getting to make your decisions are coming from your local market so your local loan officer, your local realtor, that they can provide you good data for where you plan to be, you know, because what's happening in California is going to be very different than what's happening here in Michigan. Exactly. Now, if you're making the move from California to Michigan, well, then you'll, we'll have two teams for you. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) But, but yeah, you want to make sure that you're getting specific information so that you can make, um, make the decisions that are specific to you and your family. Absolutely. And we're here when you're ready. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, thanks for joining me, Jenny. Anything else? Anything else that we want to make sure we get out there? I don't know. I think we're good. I think so. (laughs) All right. Well, we hope that you are um, enjoying the sunshine when we have been having it this month. And um, if you have any questions with regards to, you know, rates or what you can afford, you know, as far as a home or just any information that you need to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not a move right now makes sense for you, please reach out. Jenny and I are here and uh, we're happy to just provide you with that information. So, all right. Well, thank you, Jenny. Thanks Thanks, for joining. Thank you everyone for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy.